Michael, can you tell us a little bit about the Simcoe software that we have here that the engineering technology group supply? Yeah, Paul, certainly. It's, um, it's, a, it's a couple of elements to Simcoe. Uh, main element we're showing off here today is the DNC and uh, monitoring, the data monitoring, MDC Max, for data collection from your machines on your machine shop floor. So what sort of data are you collecting? At the minute, you can see uh, on the screens, we're collecting stop start, uh, park count, feed rates, cycle times, uh, various, pretty much anything we can connect off any machine. And what's the idea behind collecting this data? What are you going to do with it once you've uh, found it? Yeah, it's, for, it's mainly the main use being for efficiency, for OEE, increasing OEE, checking how production is going. A lot of people won't actually know, supervisors won't actually know how well their machines are running. Typically on an install of Simco, within one month you're looking at a 10% increase. In how much in one month? 10% increase, and a typical. With the visual element alone, straight away workers will realize that the system is being monitored, and suddenly it just gives a boost straight away in production. But you're typically looking 5 to 10% within the first month. How are you going to mold this around my machine shop? Let's say, for example, I've got you know, a Nakamura, a Quasar, maybe a few other machines as well. How do they all interface into this? Do, yeah. do you know all the models? Yeah. We, 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 luckily enough, with Simco, because Simco Unlike some systems, it's not just based on IOs. Simco it can monitor HAS. Uh, it works with MT Connect, which is on a lot of Mazak machines. It works in Option 18 and Heidenheim machines. Fanuc use Fanuc Focus, connect to any Fanuc control. Uh, Brother use HTTP. It also can monitor all those protocols. And recently, it started using OPC, which is Open Platform Communications, which is on a variety of machines. All Siemens control machines have it. So how many machines, you've told us the ones that it would work with, how many do you think that there, there is that it wouldn't as a percentage? Only a few? There is none. Luckily enough, we have a little get out of jail card. It's a MOXA I.O. unit. Uh, we can wire that into the back of your machine and we will find the signals, take stop, start, feed rate, different stuff like that, into the I.O. unit. There's nothing it can't monitor. Okay, so once I've got this on site, what do I do? I have this in my... Uh, in my um, in my office area and monitor it while I'm sitting there eating my sandwiches, as it works? Of course, you can have it in your, you can have it in your office area, like the large screen here, which you typically go in the supervisor's office or up in the production office. You can also have it on your phone. You can have it on your phone, forward an IP, you can have it remotely. You can be sitting up on a Sunday evening at home if you're worried that your halter robot maybe isn't working. Oh, there we go, here's my alarm. It can be set to give you alarms, automated emails, automated text messages, quick log in on your phone and see everything running. Is it a bit big brotherish? Are my operators and machinists going to start thinking that I'm, I'm really looking at what they're up to? Possibly, possibly it can happen, but at the end of the day, it's for the overall better of the whole plant. I've had situations where we've installed this software, we've come by, pie chart is running live on the shop floor, and I've had an operator turn around and go, yes. And I go, what? And he goes, ah, oh, look at me, I'm at 83% for the day. So can it can it put an element of competitive? So you could even you could even maybe introduce a bonus scheme to people that can keep their machines in a green in a green course, environment. Keep it, yeah, keep it green. That's it. Keep it lean. Keep it green. That's the way to go. You know. Yeah. And 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 is it easy to actually use at, when, when you're actually plumbing a machine in or when you're interrogating the software? Yeah, yeah. It's very. We do all the setup for the customer. A lot now is web based, so there's no need to buy additional licenses. Uh, anyone with a web browser can log in and look at it, but we can set the different levels of who can see what. How long would it take to get this installed in my factory? I come here today, I'm interested, I, wanna, I want this up and running straight away. Typical installation, 20 machines, we could have it running in a week, no problems. Is Less. it going to cost me an arm and a leg though? No, no, no. The payback, you will see the payback typically within six months to a year. I like the way you answered that question on payback, but what about an outlay at the start? Can you finance it over a... You know, put, put it on a, on a finance package? We, yeah, we can, of course. We can, we can willing to work with anyone on options. We've done payment options over six months, over a year. Best of that way, yeah, no problem. Would you tend to find that you sell most of this when you sell a new machine, or do you sell a lot of these as seats and licenses independently? We, we sell a lot independently, uh, but what generally will happen is we now try and sell it with a machine. It goes out with a machine, and suddenly it's eyes open, go, oh, I didn't see this before. And then what we get a phone call, can I have an additional machine connected, can I have an additional machine connected? And from there we expand the system. Okay, available from the Engineering Technology Group here in Ireland and in the UK.